Hi, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine with this week's web video fishing forecast. Gonna start things off as always in Connecticut where the Black Hawks have been fishing the waters of eastern Long Island Sound out to Montauk for some great action on big fluke like the pair landed this week by Hunter and Logan. There's been a good ratio of shorts to keepers with some real doormats up to 10 and a half pounds coming over the rails lately. And with the opening of sea bass season in New York waters last week, they got right into the action and were finally able to keep some of those big hump heads that they have been catching and releasing for the last few weeks. The bite on black sea bass throughout the sound has been downright awesome of late and is my top pick locally for the weekend. Striped bass action remains hit and miss in the sound with a continued trend of windows of bass in small isolated spots. Joe Apanowicz sent me in a picture of a nice 34 inch bass that he landed this week while fishing off Niantic. There seems to be some better concentrations of fish around the mouth of the Housatonic River, the Connecticut River, and around Fisher's Island. Moving on to Rhode Island, striped bass fishing around Block Island is still not where it should be for this time of the season, but I did get word of some somewhat improved bite the last few days. Little Toot got in, has been running some mixed bag trips out around the island, and that's the best way to fish there by boat in my opinion, with good results on striped bass, bluefish, fluke, black sea bass, and scup. I also received more reports of bluefish along the South County beaches and on over to Napa Tree Point this week. Boaters have been finding them throughout this stretch in most of the well-known rips and rock piles, and I spoke to a surfcaster yesterday who had blues to about 13 pounds while drifting darters out of one of the breachways on Monday night. There have also been some small striped bass to about 30 inches or so in the breachway at times, but a lot of those nights they've been feeding on very small baits so they can be difficult to catch. And up in Massachusetts, the great run of tuna fishing off the coast continues, and Captain Rich at Black Rose Charters put his clients onto a 77-inch bluefin this week. The fish was caught on spinning gear and took a Savage Gear freestyler. All of my contacts up on the Cape, on up to the North Shore, Target Tuna report some wicked good fishing going on right now, so if you ever wanted to target big bluefin tuna, now is the time to head up to Massachusetts. But, with that being said, tuna is not the only game in town. Striper fishing has been pretty good in some spots. There's some big slug of bass hanging off of P-Town last week, but with the wind change, it seemed to have moved back on down towards the waters around the east end of the canal over to Barnstable Harbor. Louis Rivera checked in with a nice striped bass that he landed off of Cape Beach last week, walking the shoreline, tossing a swimming plug. This is always a great option and something I recommend and do every time that I'm up on the cage. Cape, excuse me, just walking the beaches, throwing small swimmers, sometimes with a teaser, you're sure to get in on some bass. And lastly, sea bass fishing continues to please anglers in Buzzards Bay, and I received a picture of a huge 6-pound, 14-ounce fish that was landed by Victor Romero on a bunker chunk this week. Now, unfortunately, Victor is not a subscriber to the Fisherman magazine, or he'd now be sitting comfortably in first place for the Fisherman's Dream Boat Challenge. Remember that you must be a subscriber in order to have your shot at winning the brand new Cobia 201cc outfitted with the Yamaha 150 horsepower inline four stroke engine as well as a slew of other great prizes. So there you have it, I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked Send Me Updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.